the response to the Barstool Fund has been tremendous. So share with us about some of the restaurants that you've helped with your fund. So we started with Varelli's, which was in, in Long Island. And then we've gone all the way out to San Francisco where there is Tedeschi's. I talked to a place, Tia Maria's. They've been around for a hundred years. There was one I just got off the phone with, uh, Billy Martin's in Washington, D.C., 83 years in the same family. These businesses, there was, they're, they're flashing back a 100-year-old hot dog place in Tulsa, same family. To lose these type of businesses, this is what this country is about. Like generations and generations of one family earning a living successfully, and they were just going to get washed away. And I'm not saying nobody cared, but the people who should be helping them weren't. And I mean that politicians, all sides. It was just pointing the finger. We can't lose these places. We can't. They're part of this country. And, and I'm glad we're able to help some of them. Not enough. But I mean, it's moving when you hear these stories. It really is. Dave, you thought out of the box, not just for restaurants, but you've helped everyone from small family owned clothing store that was founded in 1922 to the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum in Kansas City, Missouri. I mean, what does it mean to you when you realize that you're helping really change lives and then the fact that you're keeping them open, that, that's, that's a game changer. Yeah, it's certainly gratifying. It's funny because what I think we did most above everything else is we actually put a face to these small businesses. Again, it was common sense they're struggling, but these FaceTime videos, when I call them and they react and it was on purpose, when you see that, you can't help but be moved. So let's talk about uh, the, the nuts and bolts of this. What does the business need to do? They're in trouble. They want to qualify for the bar stool fund. And I know you can't help everybody. I know that. But what is it people need to do to qualify? Yeah, so we have two basic requirements that we look for. And obviously, if the story is extenuating circumstances. But number one, we're looking for proven successful businesses. So you have a track record of success, five years, 10, whatever it may be. So the thought is the only thing that changed was the pandemic. And we assume once the country opens up, you'll go back to running your successful business. Number two, we're looking for companies that kept their payroll on active as best to their ability. So we're getting stories of business owners who are basically exhausting their life savings. They're putting, they're mortgaging their home. They're selling their cars to keep their employees on because they feel like they're part of their family and they have families. So those are the two basic requirements. Other than that, it's really not anything else. We just ask, tell us your story and tell us how much money you need and what is it for? Is it for rent? Is it for taxes, payroll? And then we've kind of shifted Barstool. So our finance team then will follow up to make sure everything adds up and matches to what they say. And then if you get approved, I call you and 72 hours later, you have your money. And I think one of the things that is important, we're telling these people, these businesses, not just a one-time payment, because if the pandemic's still here in four months and nobody, we're in the same situation, what good is that? They could be right back where they were. So each month we'll recheck in with each business in the fund and say, do you need to check again? If they do, we'll be there. A lot of these small businesses instantly, like we don't, feel comfortable asking for money. We're successful. We've worked our entire lives, but we need a stop gap. And the second we don't need it, we'll pay it forward, do something else. So that's pretty much how the plan works. And you know, what I love about it is for you, Dave, 72 hours. I mean, people need it now. They don't need it a month from now and four months. They need it now.